Hi, I'm Anjali Rao for iTalk Travel TV. In this episode, CNN Go takes us to the Czech Republic's capital of Prague to explore a rich cultural scene which emerged triumphant out of the Velvet Revolution. Christina Pavel, the puppeteer who is making her way to Hollywood, takes us to Don Giovanni, the puppet opera, and then onto a workshop where we see how the beautiful creations are made. And Prague's Michelin-starred chef Roman Paulus takes us to a farmer's market in the city centre to show us some of the best traditional dishes and cooks up strawberry dumplings for the crowd. I hope you enjoy this month's episode of iTalk Travel TV. CNN Go, sponsored by Korean Air. This city is like a textbook of architecture. As an artist, uh, Prague inspired some of my most important works of art. I'm Jerzy Wotruba, an illustrator. Come, let me show you my Prague. We are in a street that is very dear to me. Kafka was born at the end of this street. While I was uh, walking here, I was always imagining Franz Kafka walking and thinking about his writing. And so I filled the sky with literature. And this happens to be a very iconic image of the city. Now you can find it on tourist items. It wasn't, in fact, my purpose. Jewish cemetery is unique. I love to walk through this graveyard. This place had such a power. By the Jewish law, the tombstones could not be destroyed. So they are always being pulled up to the next layer. In this small place, there are 12,000 tombstones, 12 layers of graveyard, and almost 100,000 people buried. Prague inspires me to draw and it's known as the city of a hundred spires. I like to listen to church music which reminds me of the rich musical history of Prague. And I like also crossing the river and seeing this beautiful Charles Bridge. A lot of famous intellectuals lived in Prague. And now I'm taking you to the place where they used to hang out. Café Louvre uh, has been here for more than 100 years. Franz Kafka, then Albert Einstein was coming here. There is kind of a special atmosphere. So this is what I'm always getting with my coffee. It's a plum strudel. Very special taste, and I never can resist this. Prague has a rich musical history. Mozart or Beethoven were composing their uh, pieces in the city, every day coming to rehearsals. This is something you still can feel in the streets, but it's not only the classical music. Tonight I want to show you the best jazz club in Prague and it's Agartha Jazz Club. 
jazz as uh, the music that is most free because it's about improvisation. Living under communism, this was a symbol of freedom. So jazz was very, very popular. Uh, it was sometimes more popular than pop music. This uh, jazz club was the first one who was founded after the change of the regime. Good jazz, good wine, that's it. Hi, my name is Vanda Choko Kartonash. My name is Armin Effenberger. We are from the electropop band Kartonash and we were nominated to Czech Grammy. And now let us show you our favorite place in Prague. So first one, my name. Choco. So Choco Cafe, if you chocoholic as me, you definitely have to visit it. They used real chocolate for the hot chocolate drinks. So I'll show you. For example, Madagascar white one, in Mexico. I think that it's a secret weapon for Vanda's inspiration because when she yes, wanna, it is. when she wants to compose the songs, she always come here and uh, taste this. I love chocolate so much. That's why I changed my surname, like Vanda Choco. This chocolate with chili when I'm tired. It's a really, really good drug, medicine. You have a lot of energy. <laughs> Quite so. I can run, sing, everything. I will try it. Yes. Mm. Oh, I have chocolate everywhere. <laughs> My cat. It's not uh, like sweet, it's, it's really, it's art. Now we'll show you. Through the deep underground in France. During the Cold War, the government built all these nuclear bunkers, and uh, now we have about 450 bunkers. And in case of nuclear attack, 40% uh, people can live here, so it's about half a million people. The tunnels go on and on and on. So let me show you ventilation room. This uh, machine uh, clean the air from the toxin. And this old technology still works. It's really vintage stuff. <laughs> Come here, you can see the old maps. We have a tutorial how to prepare our house for nuclear war. So this would be your only link to outside world. Hello, it is Mars. It's planet Earth. When I was 10, we had to learn how to wear it. I'm ready to move. Now we are below 100 meters in Farukat Kabunker. It's an ex nuclear bunker. So, because of that, the music can be really loud till the morning. <laughs> so, it's really good place for after parties. Let's have a party! Bonkers to bonkers! Ah! Now we'll take you to our favorite location above ground. Now we are in the, our favorite club, Cross Club. Uh, let us show you! Let Come us on. show you! I think that this whole building is a piece of art. You can see movie screenings, theater, music, live bands or DJs. Oh, I love this metal stuff. And look at this weird liquid, color liquid with bubbles and lightening up. It's a, like a big spider with a lot of lights. It's really amazing to see it after uh, three beers or something like that. <laughs> it's a really unique atmosphere in this club. You know that I'll always be 
Hi, my name is Kristina Pavel and I am a professional puppeteer. I will take you to some beautiful places in the city, but we will start with the best, the best show, puppet show in Prague. So we are at the backstage of National Marionette Theatre. Look at these beautiful, beautiful puppets. We should go back to our seats because the performance is done. Mozart first conducted Don Giovanni here in Prague. But I think the puppet theater is so much better. <laughs> a great puppeteer, it must to have the abilities to make uh, people believe that uh, this puppet is alive. So now I will show you where these beautiful puppets are made. We are here in the atelier of Mr. Pavel Kolarz and here are made puppets for professionals and for people to buy. And the people here are true artists. They have to transmit the, the emotions and the character to all these little wood puppets. So we have uh, a queen here, a soldier is the devil, oh, a wolf, and a baby, Pinocchio. <laughs> I love this one. She's... It's really expressive. So that's the secret with the puppet. So this is where the final creations end up here. So there are so many kinds of puppets in here, big ones, small ones, different characters, different styles. And we have here the witches, I love the witches. We have a piece of religion in here. So this is my absolutely favorite, Meister Michael Jackson with his move. Ha! I'm bad, I'm bad. So in order to be a good uh, puppeteer, you have to love the puppet. So that's why I will take you to a two places connected with love. So here we are on the Lovers Bridge in Prague and you can see everywhere the padlocks. I have one too. And uh, the traditions say that people will come and they will write on the locks uh, the names, messages of love and uh, they will lock it and the keys they will throw in the water so the love will be forever. Good night, sweetie. You'll always be my boy. This is John Lennon wall and uh, in the beginning it was just a normal wall. But uh, after John Lennon died, he will became a symbol of love, of peace. And uh, they will come here and they will paint in, they will write uh, the poems, the lyrics from the Beatles. This wall, it was a source of uh, irritation for communists. The secret police tried to wash it up, but it never remained clean. People believe in love and they are confident that uh, peace and love is everywhere. And that's what I, I love about Prague. I think Prague is mystical, it's creative, and there is a lot of humor everywhere. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Jan Zajček, I'm one of the first graffiti writers in Czech Republic. Now I just want to show you some very nice places here. The Meat Factory is uh, one of the most progressive cultural spaces in Prague. It's a place where meets uh, cinematography, fine art, uh, literature, performances and music. We have here uh, a political cabaret, so just come to see. A lot of uh, artists live here and have their studios here. So the main idea of a meat factory is to connect artists and to share ideas. Now I will show you uh, my favorite places where to eat. So here we are and now I want to take you to the best 
Vietnamese Bistro in Prague. Come on in. There is a big Vietnamese community in Prague because of friendship of communist countries, uh, Czechoslovakia and Vietnam. It's an authentic Vietnamese cuisine. What's great about uh, their food is that uh, they use just a fresh uh, ingredient. This is my favorite, this uh, rolls with shrimp. Uh, I really love. Delicious. And now let's taste some typical Czech food. Some people in Prague sometimes have uh, nostalgia for the communist days. Local is a special place where they work with this phenomenon. During the communism, it was usual uh, that uh, you, you had a beer which was under the line. You had a smaller meal. And that's the uh, thing that you can find now as a joke in local. So here we have uh, Godhai salami, which was uh, the cheapest salami in the communism. It's more than 20 years I didn't eat it. Yeah, great. <laughs> you can order here just the food which somehow relates to communism. So there's the joke of it. For me, it's, it's uh, quite nostalgic to eat this. <laughs> Czech Republic is famous for beer and uh, here in Lokal we have a, a beer master champion uh, who will show us how to serve a perfect beer. For best beer, we need clean glass. Here it is four degrees inside, it's very cold water. For perfect brew, we must first first form out. We need to hold the glass on the 45 degrees and open the pipe full. We need the creamy foam and the perfect core of Pilsner Rukwell. Please, cheers. We know, we know it's just best in the world. Hello, my name is Roman Paulus. I'm a chef of the Michelin star restaurant Alcron here in Prague. We are here in the market. I would like to show you where is the best place to buy the best ingredients in Prague. So I would like to show you, this is the greatest example of how Czech people can use the whole pig. Everything will be used. This is called flachenka. So they cook all the uh, liver and, and kidneys and everything goes into this. And of course, the lard. This is a Czech option for the extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> what I particularly love about Czech food is the sweets. You can see here, this is one of the most typical Czech sweets. It's called buchty and kolache. It seems to me a little like a pizza, but this is something I, I strongly believe you will not find anywhere else in the world. Honey is also a, a lovely, typical Czech ingredient. We love it very much. A honey spread, some drinks with honey, it's even with alcohol for the, for the winter time. It's warm and you get a little drunk as well, so. <laughs> So one of my favorite things to prepare is strawberry dumplings with a fresh cheese dough. So first of all I need some butter, then the egg. You mix it together. The main ingredient is this cheese. It's called tvaroch. It's like a fresh cheese. Little like the Italian ricotta. Some lemon skin. And now this is uh, semolina, uh, sugar, flour and a little salt. We mix everything together. So after two or three hours resting, you use the dough like this and you prepare your strawberries. We get the strawberries from this man. He is the best strawberry farmer in Czech Republic. <laughs> it has to be closed. And now we put them into boiling water for about five, six minutes. And then we'll see. That's it. Dobro chuť. What I love about Prague is its history. 
It's culture, it's art, no matter where you are, no matter what sketchy alley you go down, at the end you find something beautiful and amazing. Sid definitely inspires my ballet. Walking into the National Theatre, you feel an atmosphere straight away. It's the first ballet company that was actually given permission to perform Swan Lake outside of Russia and Tchaikovsky was here at the premiere himself. You go on stage and for me it's the most amazing feeling in the world. It's like a high. Hi, my name is Rebecca King. I'm a soloist at the Prague National Theatre. I'm originally from the States but I've lived here in Prague for four years. This point marks the center of Europe. I want to take you all around to some of my favorite places in Prague. how you get beer in style. This is one of the coolest little places in Prague. There are trains that bring your beer. The whole place is decorated with model trains and little figurines. After a few beers, sometimes it can get a little dangerous in here. <laughs> you don't have to get up to get your beer. It comes to you. Cheers. I'm not your computer. You always come across some interesting things in Prague. These are some statues by the controversial artist David Cherny and you'll find them all over Prague. You'll never know where you might come across them. So I want to take you guys to a cafe here in Campa Park. It's quite a hidden gem. Not very many tourists know about it. Please come take a look. We are at the Cafe Minska, which is converted from a mill into this bar. My favorite part about it is the bar top. It's been created by David Cherney, and it's just amazing. There's all sorts of cool stuff in here. They've got things here from false teeth to cigarettes to bloody fingers to old toys, old calculators, old phones. And David Cherney actually calls this his living room. It's one of his favorite places to hang out. But my favorite part of this is the cake. This is a honey cake, and it's made out of honey and nuts and cream, and it's delicious. There are a lot of beautiful gardens here in Prague. This is my favorite at the top of Petron Hill. There are over 12,000 roses here. I train and perform about 60 hours a week and this is where I come to relax and wind down. I've definitely fallen in love with Prague. So there you have it, a quick glimpse into the wonderful world of iTalk Travel, Australia's newest and most exciting retail travel group. They really do take great pride in taking the time to help you feel like you're an individual. Come and talk to one of the iTalk travel agents about your flights, cruises, events, hotels, car hire, travel insurance, or to simply share your ideas for your dream holiday. You can talk to iTalk travel experts in store, online, or over the phone. Find us at italk.travel or visit our Facebook page.